Well, hello there. Today's video is going to be an MTB Pro Box type video. You guys know what that means? I'm only gonna bring, I'm gonna bring two different rods today. We're gonna bring my travel rods and we're gonna bring a spinning setup. The reason why, well, I looked inside the box already. You guys wanna see what's inside the box? I think, I think you guys wanna see. I don't generally show everything that's in the box right off the bat, but we're going to this time. Oh, here we go. What do we got first thing on the list? That is a shaky head galore worm right there. Looks scrumptious. Ooh, doesn't look like a pond scum. The pond scum goes on these things right here, these scrum deliumptious looking finesse jigs. And then we got an old, well, then we got the bruise jig, a little 3 8 ounce. There we go, we got a little jerk bait here. And we got a little jerk bait here. Musa, shh, be quiet. Musa is one hell of an attack dog. He is crazy, he is super crazy. He's from Afghanistan and he knows how to bark very well. But if you guys would like to get one of those MTB boxes, use this code right here, this code LUNKERS, save $10 off your first box. It's like Christmas every single month. I love it, I love it, I love it. Click the link in the bio, it'll take you directly where you need to go. Well, we're gonna be fishing out the kayak today. And we gotta find the bass. The nice, scrum dilly type bass. Scrum dilly -umptious. Moved it. it. Used to be right here. Now I just gotta fill these holes in. You gotta move the. Oh, okay. We're running into some issues. 100% some issues. I turned on the wrong mode. That's that's for one. But I've got about 25 minutes till I get to where I'm going. If I don't see a gas station, we are about to have a sleeveless MTB shirt for the rest of the day. Cause I have been hit with the bubble guts. Oh, it's pretty bad. I'm trying to concentrate enough to get to where I'm going. I still turn, managed to turn it on the wrong way. Whew. Yep. Way to cut the wrong side. I love that color of worm. That is freaking awesome looking. Look at that thing. Majestic looking. Whoa, majestic as you can get right there. We got, oh, tasty, scrumptious. There is a ton of grass here, so we're gonna make a little bit of modifications here. Yeah. We are gonna turn this into a swim jig. All right, a little bit of modification. We are going to make this thing into a swim jig and glide it through all this grass. I am struggling to get that shaky head through this grass, so those jerk baits are gonna be even better. But I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure some sort of pattern out to catch a fish on these baits. go first fish come on stay pin stay pin stay pin yes good fish good fish good fish come on come on come on come on come on oh and no he's off of the boat oh man that sucks well there's the first one I was originally throwing it on the floral but I switched it over to the to the braid rod Cause this grass is thick. Let's see if we can get another one on this thing now. Fish, got him. Come on, stay pin. Stay pin. I know you're still there. I know you're still there. Come on, swim in this through the grass. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, he's so small. You're such a tiny dude. Oh, he's so small. Way more grass than bass. First landed fish of the day. We're gonna go back down that little area because it's out of the wind, and we're going to we are gonna throw that little that little jig some more. That is a very small fish. More grass and bass. Whoa, feisty little dude. So I would turn this on right here, but it keeps overheating. So when the sun starts going down, I will flip that on so you guys can have a different view. This is pretty much what we got going on here. Put a little trailer, turn it into a little swim jig. Will produce, I promise you. In this kind of grass situation, all you gotta do is uh, adapt and overcome. You know what I mean? That easy is an adjustment. I will say this. I kind of wish I had sleeves right now. Fish, got him, got him. Oh, another little tiny one. <laughs> Come on, dang. Quick, 
Quick release. God, we need some big ones. Where are they at? Maybe, maybe they'll come out when the sun starts going down, but that was another little tiny dude. Just slow rolling this, just slow rolling it. There's got to, there's going to be a big one. It's got to happen. I'm just floating down this bank, just getting through the grass. You guys see that? He didn't stay pinned, but man, he wanted that thing. Switched over to this little jerk bait. I'm gonna go back through here again. God, did he want that? He struck it right at the kayak. Oh, he missed it. Come on, come on. He got it that time. He missed it the first time, came back and got it the second time. Oh, he's got me dug in that grass. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Oh my gosh, so much, so little of a bias. God dang. Oh my gosh, I'm catching nothing with some size today. But I'll take it, I've been struggling. I have been struggling, I've been struggling, I've been struggling. So that jig head that I was using, with the MTB, I noticed that I probably had four or five fish hit this thing and it just, they wouldn't stay pinned. It's not this thing's fault. I'm actually using a seven foot two medium heavy right now and I'm, ooh, there's a wasp on the end of it. And this thing right here, do you see all the action it's got? It's not really fully meant to try to rip a bunch of bass through this grass. So I switched over to a lighter wired hook, something just like this that I've been throwing, well you guys know this already, under a uh, belly weighted swim bait. I'm throwing some a little bit lighter, just kind of gliding it through this grass. I mean, look at this grass. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't have a filter on, but it is ultra clear. This is clearer than yesterday. That's pretty much a story. I should be using my seven foot three, my extra heavy rod and this kind of stuff. But I didn't bring it, just brought the travel rod. Got him, got him. Another one in the grass. They really, really, really like this grass. Come on. Come on, little dude. Problem is, I need to get some with some size. I've only got maybe an hour left of light. Maybe. And I keep catching fish of this size. But I'm going to continue to throw this uh, moving bait because this is the only thing I can get to work right now. So they will only eat moving baits in the grass. Of course, I can't get them to eat the uh, shaky head because I can't really move, maneuver it through here. A swim jig, well, it wasn't working nearly as well is this nearly i almost said nearly as well good that wouldn't have made any sense whatsoever fish 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 stay pinned stay pinned come on it has been a tough day for me stay pinned baby come on come on oh you dug yourself in the grass Come on out of there. Oh, you're still on, you're still on. You're still on. Yes, you are still on. Oh my God, yes. Oh, thank you. Guys, it has been a freaking struggle for me. Look how thin that bass is. Holy crap, that is a thin bass. But I will take it. I will take it, I will take it, I will take it. That thing's only a couple pounds, maybe two and a half, three pounds, maybe. Maybe three pounds, but I will take it. Gosh, dang, I know I've said that a 400 times, but it has been tough. There he goes. Oh, man. The struggle. Ah! It's been real. This has been a tough day of fishing. They don't always come easy, though. It's like a good relief. Oh, it's been a struggle, but I love you. This was a 120% keep fishing, never stop kind of day. Oh man, that was tough. Oh, look at this dude. Telling you guys, see the pterodactyl prints? They're coming back, I tell you. Oh, pterodactyl prints almost as big as my hand. 
the real question I ask myself is who's been around long enough to remember this? Oh, that thing, I remember, oh, oh my god, that was something I had made like at the very beginning and it just hit me, I just haven't used it in such a long time and I was reading through the comments from yesterday's video before I left the, the lake and I was like, god, I gotta flip on the camera and ask who remembers, who remembers that the old wooden boat, the old wooden boat. Guys, I made a stop. It's 10.22 at night. Avery's 1,000% asleep. I made a stop though at a tattoo parlor. I didn't get anything done tonight. I didn't have enough time. Next Saturday, what's gonna happen? I wonder what Sarah's gonna think. What do you guys think? That's a good question. Right now, I'm actually thinking, I'm gonna go inside, grab me some ice cream, and the first thing I'm gonna do is go, Sarah, I'm getting my tattoos done. 1,000% she's not gonna care, 100%. Actually. I just said a thousand percent and then dumbed it down to a hundred percent. I am so freaking tired right now. All right, so the first question she asked me is where are your sleeves? And then she follows it up with, what are you drinking? What? I'm getting my sleeves done next week. Okay. That's it. Told you. But I'm off here tomorrow, shooting guns, fishing. I will see you guys. It's him. Ah. Let's just say I had the bubble guts. Oh.